Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Tony and I'm the co-founder of The Hire Company. In today's video, I will be making spring slash summer room spray. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. All right, so basically in today's video, I will be making new room sprays, of course, to add to our website. And so with these room sprays, I won't be like mixing fragrance oils like I usually do. If you guys don't know, most of my um, candle scents and yeah, most of my candle scents and room spray scents, I will combine fragrances. But for these, I'm just keeping it simple and using them as I bought them. So that'll be another easy part to this e to this already easy room spray recipe. And um, if you haven't watched my first how, how I make room sprays video, I'll just link it in the cards above. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and visit our website at thehyaco.com. And in the description box so that you can watch it, you know, if you wanna know like detail for detail, how I go into it. All right, so one mistake I made that I didn't mention in the first How I Make Room Sprays video was um, while testing, I used the max low because if you don't know, I'm heavy handed. So anything the max, I'm gonna do it. Like making, if I'm making like food, anything, I'll just be heavy handed. So if I see the max low, Load, I'm using a max load and so but if you're anything like me um perfumes or like strong sprays will irritate your throat like it's a, like a whole allergic reaction it kind of feels like when you have allergies when pollen comes times 10 when it like if a perfume will irritate my throat that's how it feels and so one mistake one mistake I made while testing was even with the stronger fragrance oils I would still use the max load now if you don't know room sprays they're already concentrated it's like a small that's why they're smaller bottles than air fresheners and so they're concentrated which which means you'd only need about one two or even three if you want to be heavy-handed sprays to light up the whole room like to you know so you could get the whole aroma in your whole room or wherever you're spraying it and so when I when it was like um stronger sense i was still using a max load now i would say of course common sense but i'm heavy-handed when your um scents are more concentrated or like more strong like cologne -y type scents you know men's cologne will be like a stronger scent when your fragrance oils are like that please use like about three i'll say as opposed to um five percent use three percent if you don't know their um fragrance or recommendation for the base that I'm using is two to five percent these bottles so the same bottles I used the last time and then these little cups y'all I love these cups for fragrance oils because it's glass and you know sometimes if you use fragrance oils it may seep through or even burn plastic sometimes fragrance oils will melt plastic and just mess the whole place up and so I love these they're like the perfect size if you do make your batches in bigger batches then obviously you could get the bigger anchor products like the bigger anchor um pouring little things I like to use these because I don't know I feel like they're just the perfect size for what I need now I'm gonna see how it is because like I said I'm just testing so I only need this for one bottle I'm gonna see how it is with mixing, but yeah, let's get straight into the making portion of this video. I know a lot of people have questions about measurements. And so my, these bottles are 3.4 ounces. I know it's liquid, but I still do it in grams just because to me it's more accurate, like more of an accurate reading. So I still go based off of that. 3.4 ounces um, converts to about 96 grams, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's about 96 grams. So for my, for one room spray, I would need about 96. Oh, it turned off. It literally turned off. <laughs> about 96 grams or 91 grams, sorry. I'll leave it at 88 since it cut off before I could, um, calculate the first amount that I poured in and now I need five grams of fragrance oil
Okay, so if you remember from my first video, I definitely recommended these, which I didn't have at the time, but I um, went ahead and bought them after that video. So if you want these, I'll link them down below as well. And it makes the pouring process so much easier. All right, so. This is the first fragrance oil, and this is very light, which is why I use the Max Fragrance Load amount. So we're gonna move on to the one that I am gonna tone it down on. Okay, so for this one, now that, and I'm mentioning this because I get a lot of questions about um, measurements. So now for this one, um, because I wanna use the mid-range fragrance load amount this is the fragrance one i'm talking about is very strong um what i will do i'm gonna um show you really quick okay because i know that my spray bottles are 3.4 ounces i just go to google and type ounces to grams i put 3.4 in and here i'm showing you that that converts to 96 grams then i head over to a calculator and put 96 times 0 0.03 which equals to three percent and that will give me 2.88. So I just subtract 96 grams again, which equals to 93.12. I round my numbers, so then I'll just put it to 93 grams and 3 grams of oil. Here I'm giving you the same example, but using ounces. So we're just going to head straight to the calculator, type 3.4 times 0 0.03, which will equal 0.1. And then you just subtract that from 3.4 again, which will give you 3.3. And then you'll need 0.1 ounces of fragrance oil. Okay, so we have 93 of the base. And for your stronger fragrance oil, you only need three grams, or that's what I'm using. Okay, so it's up to 96, and it's literally that simple, y'all. So now I just start again. Okay, and after I mix it, you literally just pour. I use a new one of these um, just because I don't like fragrance oils to mix. And then I'll just wash them afterwards. Okay, and for the last one, it will be the same measurements as the first one. So, if you don't remember, it's 91 grams of base and 5 grams of fragrance oil because that one also isn't a super strong fragrance oil. And I just also want to show you the difference of how it looks when it's clear and then kind of milky. I didn't mix the other one all the way in because I know over time it'll get clear, like especially when I shake it. So yeah, but I just want to show you the difference. You could kind of see it even in a bottle that's not um clear, but yeah, at the end of the day, it really doesn't. Like the clear one obviously looks better, but I know over time this one will 
um, get clear. All right, y'all, so that is it for this video. I hope me explaining how I measure my room sprays help y'all. I know I had a few comments about, you know, how do I know what to measure and stuff like that. And so I hope this helped y'all. This is the easiest room spray recipe that I have found. And so I love using it, especially when it comes to testing and managing other products within the business. It is so easy, y'all, it's so easy. And so if you wanna see what I think about this room spray, I'll link um, that review video down below as well as me making it for the first time but other than that thank y'all so much for watching this video don't forget to watch um, our other videos on our channel and i'll see y'all in the next one bye